Well, she's open for country legend Kenny Rogers. Spent a lot of time recording and performing in Memphis, Tennessee, and has worked under the guidance of the US-based Bear Grylls Ventures management team. Kiwi Lass Jody Doreen has just released her third studio album, and she is here to tell us all about it. It is great to have you here, Jody. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So you're just hot off the end of, a, of an Australian tour? Yeah, I am. I literally flew in like a week ago. Did a string of shows, the Canterbury A&P show. And um, yeah, it's good to be home, but the Australian tour was so much fun. That yeah, how, how are you appreciated in Australia? Yeah, really well received, actually. I played a lot of my new songs off the new album, um, and yeah, it seemed to be received really well. And it was cool, I got to play these amazing theatres that I've never played before. Um, and meet some amazing people and, and fans. It was it was a good time. Cool. Yeah. Well, let's go back to the start. So you were originally a Kiwi lass. I no, still am a Kiwi lass. Well, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't change. <laughs> the Aussies haven't claimed me yet. I don't think. <laughs> oh, they don't <laughs> well. wait. They do it pretty fast. Um, well, Whereabouts did you grow up, and how did you get into country music? I grew up in Wanaka, and I don't know. It's kind of just I was just surrounded by it. My grandma, she was a country singer. She taught me my first song on guitar when I was nine. My parents listened to actually a lot of just international music, Rolling Stones, The Eagles, um, Johnny Cash, Loretta Lynn, then it kind of went on to the Dixie Chicks, Shania Twain, nice. and then your more contemporary country like Carrie Underwood, Keith Urban, who's actually a Kiwi and he's made it huge, which is really cool. So yeah, I think I'm a rural girl at heart as well, but um, you know, the, the music I sing now is not straight down the line country, it's very contemporary. So, yeah. Well, it's yeah. a big, country's a really big thing, isn't it? So you, this, your new album, Shake Up, yeah. is out now. How is it different from your others? Uh, a lot more pop influence, for sure. Yeah, it's um, definitely a lot more contemporary. I did that deliberately. Um, I love all types of music. I listen to pop and rock music, probably just as much as I do country music. But I think my voice always is going to have that kind of little bit of twang in it, so it's always going to be there to kind of, kind of put me into that country box, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's probably different from the last album as well. I didn't quite have, I don't have quite have as many of my own songs on this album. It's mainly been a time thing. I've just been so busy live gigging, um, and so yeah. But you know, I when I was being pitched songs to record. I would only record songs that I, you know, strike a chord with me, like, and relate to me as a person or my personal experiences. Yeah. So. Well, one that did strike a chord, no doubt, was uh, Give Me The Beat, uh, which yeah. I think we're going to have a look at right now. And that was filmed in Wanaka, Wanaka yeah, Airport. Yeah, it was. Same top? Were you wearing the yeah. same top? Uh, I think, yes, I, I think I was at one point. You are going to be co-headlining the, uh, is it the, the Top Paddock Music Festival, like how we are, New Year's Eve. Yeah. Very fun. I am so excited about that one, actually. It's a new thing happening, and I think there's like 10 acts from around the globe. There's like USA, Australia, and Kiwi acts, um, like eight and a half hours of music or something like that. So, yeah, it's going to be a good time. Big party. Yeah, I was going to say, great way to see you in the new year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And also, we've got Leanne Rhymes and Scotty McCready, winner of um, American Idol, yeah. coming to the Stampede Music Festival in Pukekohe in next year. Yeah. You're part of that too, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, I got the call up a couple of months ago, and I was like, heck yeah, I'm there. <laughs> so, yeah, playing that is going to be great. So, you yeah. know, with those connections with the American artists, you've also got a connection with, you know, Nashville, Tennessee. What, are you spending a bit of time there? Yeah, I haven't been there for a while now. Um, um, I spent quite a bit of time there on my last record and prior to that as well I performed at the Global Artist Showcase over there. But I'm hoping to get back this one to do some more writing and start work on the fourth album. What makes it so special? What, why, what, you know, Nashville, why is it so...? It's just Music City. Mm -hmm. Like, it's almost like a lot of people there say it's kind of the new LA. Like, it's the kind of hip, trendy place to be. And it's not just country music, it's all types yeah. of music. Like, some big hip-hop artists even, even record there. So, there's just 24-7 amazing music everywhere and every single person is a musician and every single person is like world class. Wow. Good creative so, flow then. Yeah, it's great. And yeah. quickly, have you ever done the Gorgol Guitar Awards? Um, when I was like... <laughs> 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 Years ago, once. I, I can't oh, remember. Yes. Well, I think I know a host of one of those. He's probably going to be trying to bend your arm for yeah. next year. Trust oh, me on that back, one. Yeah. Oh, I would love to come back and sing. Nice. Yeah. 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 First, well, thanks, Jodie. Thank uh, Jodie's new, uh, new album, well, the album was out, it's been out for about a week now. Shake Up is available now, and she continues to tour New Zealand and Australia in December and beyond. Check out her website for concert dates and ticket details. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in, Jodie. Really appreciate it. it. And don't go anywhere, because she's performing for us live just after the short break. You don't want to miss it.
prepared the warm-up. Fantastic. Yeah. We'll see you in a couple of minutes.